morning everyone happy new year and this day is the day that the lord has made so i'm going to rejoice and i'm going to be glad in it today i am transplanting collard greens i grew collard greens in my apartment you can do it too all you need to do is have a dixie cup three dixie three cups this cup, this cup, and this cup. Take this cup, fill it up with soil, soak it with water, put the hole in it, not deep. Put your collard green seed in it. Take a little bit of soil, put it on top, water the water drain out once the water has drained out in here I forgot to tell you cut three slits in the bottom of your cup so that there will be proper drainage for the water to drain out okay you take this cup after it has drained properly and then you put it inside this cup this cup shields the roots from the sunlight and in this cup, you put on top of it. Now, if you have a heat mat for plants, place it on top of that. If you don't, don't worry. This causes, um, it, makes, it makes it possible for humidity to be built up inside. And in two days, if you plant collard green seeds that I have, like I have, most collard green seeds, most mustard green seeds, they pop within two days. Once that seed has popped out of the um, soil, then you want to take it off. And when I say once it has sprouted, the both leaves, the first set of leaves have already opened completely. Then you can take this top off and let it breathe because now it needs the oxygen. Once it does that and it grows, you keep watering it. Make sure that when you water your plant, your collard green seed, I should say your seedling, that always the dra it drains. And when the water drains from here, you pour it off, okay? After a while, and when I say after a while, I mean two weeks, two weeks. You'll have collard green in a cup, yes. Look at the roots. Look how they're growing. I'm going to try to keep it still. <laughs> but look at the roots. Look how they're on the bottom, begging to be repotted. At this stage, because collard greens have a tap root, meaning that the root has to go way down. It has to be embedded deep in order for it to reach its full flourishing or its full maturity or its full potential. So what I'm gonna do is I'm repotting mine today. Because it needs to be in um, a medium that would emulate being in the ground, it has to be in a medium or a pot or I don't use traditional pots for this. I use uh, grow bags. So it has to be in something that will, that's consistency of five gallons. Five gallons, no smaller than five gallons. So I have here, I mean, we have grow bags. I use grow bags instead of pots. I mean, to grow certain things because the roots on um, the plants need ventilation. They love ventilation. And what happens is that when we water our plants, a lot of times they don't get a lot of ventilation and they stunt the growth, they get root rot. And so in, to, in, in order to ensure that um, I have enough ventilation for this plant, I'm putting it in a grow bag. Now you, this is a three pound, three gallon, I should say, grow bag. And once again, I'm doing this all in my home. Okay, in my apartment because it's too cold outside. But these greens can live outside in the cold weather as long as it's not uh, below freezing, freezing temperature. 
So today, like I said, I digress. I'm putting it in a five gallon grow bag. I've already put soil in it and I'm gonna bring the camera down so that you can see how it's done. So I have my five gallon grow bag and I put it in this because afterwards I'm going to have to water it and it needs to drain. So I put it inside this, this holder. It's not going to hold all of it, but it's going to hold most of it. But it needs to be in a container that will catch the water. And... Here's my collard green. The best way to plant your collard, your, your greens or your plants is when you take your plant that you're going to um, pot, repot. You take this, you put it inside, you make sure your dirt is even and it's well. I'm not going to water it now. I can water it, but I'm not going to. Actually, you know what? I will. I'll water it because the roots aren't that low. So I'll water this medium and let the water come, just, just moist, get it moist. And then once it's done that, because that's well enough water for the roots because the roots aren't that big. So once it's done that, you take your, your pot, your, your cup and you push it down inside gently inside your soil so that it will have the same depth that it was that it had in your cup just keep working it I twist it around just keep working it working it working it and just like that you can see it has the depth of this cup. So then you take your cup, you turn it to the side, you pinch the sides because and it's not wet. I didn't plant it, I didn't um, water it. So I'm saving it for today. So I take it out and you can see all those roots. It's time to repot. So I take that and I put that inside, just like that. And then I take some of the dirt that's on the side and I cover the top gently. You don't want all your, your leaves to touch the dirt. Okay, gently, just like that. And then I I take some more water, which I don't have here right now. Just a minute. I take some more water and I water that part only. And make sure that it's sitting properly. And there you have it. It's been properly watered. The last thing, the last and final thing, before you take your plant and sit it under lights because it's growing in your home, because you, you, you need to label your greens, label your plants. So, excuse me. Put it in here, collard greens, and keep it moving. 